was simple. It was a sweet, huggable toy that kids would take to sleep with them at night. And everybody wanted to feel a part of that in the beginning. They wanted to feel simple and innocent. Well, um, I really can't legally talk about Thai ink or Thai. And anyone involved in this whole thing, if they really would have known what was going on, would it have happened? I think there was some surprise at the scope. This is yours. All right. It's great. Thank you. The chase was fun. It was like having a 24-hour-a-day scavenger hunt. I'm going to get in. I'm going to get in on that. I'm the Beanie King, and what do we got? We got Beanie Baby! The man who owns the company is apparently a billionaire and now the world's richest toy maker. We've invested approximately $180,000 in this collection. Where would somebody find the time to do that? Total addiction. Once you fall in love with them, you're all through. You'll do anything to get more. These two ladies started fighting, and I was like, oh my god. I need to start selling beanies. It was no longer a toy. It's a real pretty piece. Like, come on. This is a kid's toy, you know, stand down. They're rolling on this, right? All the good and evil in the world going around in one circle. Play the cards wrong, you lose. We have a choice. Are you going to stand up and fight, or are you going to be the victim? You're going to have fun on this journey. Let's go. 